Duke's Creek Falls Recreation Area. Duke's Creek Falls. I'm in my minivan. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's minivan boy to get to you. Mm -hmm. You know it's bad. It's the baddest. It's the baddest minivan on this road right now, possibly in this whole park. People just looking as I go by. I'm like, <laughs> they have some trails, but this it looks busy here. So we're gonna go on. Yeah. That's pretty. Everybody from Georgia today. Georgia, Georgia, retired Georgia. Georgia. No, another reason I'm not going to park and pay because I don't want anybody to feel like their van or their vehicle is not up to par. I park this thing right here. That mountain won't be the center of attention. Folks will be up here making pictures of this van. They ain't going to have it. Mm -hmm. This is a nice day to get out here and ride around and look at this stuff. There's not many people here. You want to get out and walk right here, Mama? Yeah. Watch for bears, watch for snakes. Got it. Hog pen gap. Y'all won't believe this, but I'm laying some rock right now. And these rocks right here, all these rocks up there here, can y'all imagine? Just a few of them right there can equal to be several hundred dollars. Oh yeah. It's crazy. Folks out here, you can't even pick a flower. Oh no, yeah. I mean, really? this is, no. No, if I picked a flower right now and told mama I love her, I could go to jail. <laughs> This is for everybody to see. You gotta leave in flowers for everybody to look Yeah. At. Like people a long time ago mm -hmm. would bend them so that they point. Yeah, trail, trail marks. Trail. Yeah. Yep, trail markers, yep. I bet that one was a trail marker. Cherokee Indian something. probably bent that. Somebody's been doing something here. I mean, that's man-made. That's a capsite. That may not be man-made, baby. Sasquatch? That could be a dog on Bigfoot. There's a squatch in these ones. cold up here. <laughs> Several weeks back, he got cold and built him a fire right there. Yeah, because that's not normal firewood. I mean, look at that. This ain't normal firewood. What are we talking about? Yeah. I mean, this is for a, a big something. Mm-hmm. You know? Somebody and those rocks were heavy. Here we go. Back on the trail. I don't know if you can really see real good right here, but this is real pretty. I would take the next 45 minutes to identify everything within sight here, but I'm not going to. No. Too much. Yeah. Oh, audience. look, there's another one that's bent up there. This one bends this way and this way. This one actually bends that way. <laughs> <laughs> that one's dead. That's a dead bend. Yeah. Oh, look, there's our tree climber there. He can climb one even if it has no way of climbing it. <laughs> this one I actually identify as a nosy tree. Uh, folks, there's just so much here. I mean, you know. Hey, you see someone follow with us. We let the people who are really hiking go by because oh, yeah. we're just walking. <laughs> Trust me, all I'm doing is relax. That's so hollow. Yeah. <laughs> Sleepy hollow. What a sight to behold. Oh, a bunch of Nobody them. Nobody touch it. This is for other people to view too. We got to leave them here for everybody to look at. We're going to quietly walk by and just let those other ones continue to wake up. You know, I may place a little stick right here so nobody will step on this one. They'll know to walk around it. I don't know. <laughs> a chief's arrowhead? Wow. How many buffalo is this tucked down? Oh, yeah. Folks, this ain't really an arrowhead. <laughs> I bet there are a lot around here. Yeah. Oh, I have to look. Some people wonder if I'm worried about uh, Bigfoot out here. I'm not. I wear the company's deodorant. You know, I'm not worried about him trying to attack me at all. Not with this pine tar deodorant on. These are some more beautiful flowers here. Again, we're not going to touch them. We're gonna leave these for other passerbys. Mm -hmm. A rock for memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but a woodpecker. Answering me. Yeah, I see him right up there. It's Woody. No, well, there's really one up here. Everybody, we just seen a passerby. He's talking some serious hiking language. I didn't know what to tell him. I just said, get on down the trail, get to the end, look to the right, you're gonna see a bad to the bone minivan. Like all the pictures you want to, don't lean on them. Mm -hmm. Happy trails, buddy. Happy trails. <laughs>
until we meet again. This thing keeps going and going and going. We're gonna have to come back another day. These folks are thinking I'm a park ranger or something right here. They do, y'all. It's because of the hat and everything. I mean, I got these boots on. And I don't have hiking boots. I've got, this right here is from Stinky. Yeah. Cow Stinky, horse Stinky. Like I said, I'm all, we're gonna ease out of here and go get a banana Yeah, split. it's just like, I can't remember, did we? tell them in that one video when we went on that one trail and there were some people fishing they got extremely nervous because he had on again the cowboy hat Started and it does, their fingernails. he looks like a park ranger oh and you had that jacket on on that day too because it was kind of cold and that jacket looked kind of park ranger-ish they thought i was gonna check them for their fishing, fishing license. license yeah <laughs> my boys got to find another day because they, didn't they have did theirs. they forgot to yeah. renew their fishing license date, and here i am a park ranger <laughs> and my boys got to find and it was like when they called me, I said, lock them up. Said, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. They did. They forgot their license was out of... Because, uh, mm -hmm. see, you get them, and then you... They last a year. You, you, you got to keep a check on that right there. Yeah. But... It was the uh, trout tournament last year when they renewed them. Yeah. And the trout tournament hadn't happened yet, and I guess they thought they were still in date, but they weren't. Listen how quiet it is out here. Yeah. Beautiful. Folks, it just dawned on me that we're not probably going to be able to get a banana split. Huh. Dairy Queen's closed. Oh, because of Easter. Yeah. yeah, slow down, gang. No rush. Yeah, no rush. No rush. Somewhere, somebody's got a milkshake, though. If we have to, we'll go home and make, make our own. Make our own, yeah. we already been doing that some the other night. He had me making a peanut butter banana milkshake at like 11.45. Yeah. <laughs> He's been watching this guy that makes... Floats. Floats and milkshakes. Yeah. He's an older gentleman. And uh, he's giving me some really good ideas. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to go home this evening and make a Brazilian lemonade. How about we do that? Well, the only thing is, there might not be anywhere open to get the sweetened condensed milk you said you need for that. We might have a can of condensed milk. I thought we had several the gas cans. stations might. I know we bought some evaporated milk 25, 30 years ago. <laughs> I mean, I got to be honest with you, worst case scenario, we'll just start knocking on doors asking neighbors. I mean, back 25, 30 years ago, that's what you did. Oh, yeah. Borrow some sugar. Can we borrow a can of condensed milk? That's what we did back in the day. Folks yeah. don't do that no more. They don't ask for it. I mean, I remember we had a neighbor whenever I was a kid, used to come up there several times a, a month. Sometimes it'd be a couple of times in a week. My mama made really good uh, homemade biscuits, and I mean, they wouldn't hesitate to knock on the door and be like, Mama wants to know if you can make some homemade biscuits for us tonight. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, Mama, you should do it a, a good bit for them. Folks, we got to get back to that, is what I'm saying. I mean... Yeah, but people, they don't even know who their neighbors are. Yeah, folks, they don't know nothing but canned biscuits. They don't know what their neighbor's name is. Put your hand in some buttermilk, let's go. <laughs> we do need to get back to more simple kind of living and, you know, fellowshipping and loving each other. everybody we found a store that's open right here and we're gonna be able to get our sweet and condensed we are going in here at Betty's country store it's a very nice little store we really like this store a lot of people like this store yeah because we're we're it's noticing it is very busy very busy Betty's making some money today Jack maple nut goodies butter toffee peanuts banana chips RC and moon pies pineapple chunks oh I've never seen dried cantaloupe before it's $8.99 we'll just be looking at that but I've never seen it before <laughs> okay we're looking for the sweetened condensed milk 
Um, maybe, oh, I bet it's down this aisle. Sweeten, oh, there it is. Eagle brand. Pickles. Pickles? Fried pickles brand. Some sweet southern heat bar. Exactly. You always want to have backup with what you right. know is good, folks. I think Jake and Tyler are going fishing, right? So we should they want to pack? I don't know. I'd, I'd go ahead and get two just in case they don't go fishing. Which kind you want? No beans? You need one can or two? Probably two. The chance of me fast. What do you think about that? The spaghetti and meatballs is looking at him. I tell you what, you come in somewhere hungry and you start thinking about everything. Like right now, I'm thinking about putting some strawberries on that with some whipped cream. They make these giant cookies here. Yeah, they are. They're yeah. really big. Yeah, this one is, what is this? Just sugar cookie with sprinkles. Yeah. The peanut butter ones are always gone, but I think, do they have a peanut butter? Oh no, see, I'm telling y'all. Peanut butter must be really the best one. Yes, they are always gone. has given us a turkey egg. This is the first one she's laid since probably last summer. Thank you, Miss Turkey. Look how pretty it is. They taste just like chicken eggs, but the shell is a lot harder to crack and they don't scramble up as good as chicken eggs, but they taste the same. Here's the size difference though. Turkey egg, chicken egg. Okay, we're back home. Grill is getting ready for the hot dogs. I've already got the chili started in here. I'm just chopping up an onion. Yeah, we cleared out those. There was a little bit of stuff left after lunch, but not enough for another whole meal. So we'll sub in some hot dogs for supper. The green beans, I think, were everybody's favorite of the new side dishes, y'all. The macaroni and cheese, nobody could tell really any difference there, which was very surprising. If y'all missed yesterday's video, I'll link it down below. But yeah, I was really surprised by that because that macaroni and cheese was a recipe like I've never made before. Like I've never put cottage cheese or sour cream in macaroni and cheese before, but it was really good. And these we taste tested are great. Well, just me and Jake taste tested them because we really love pickled chips. Oh, yeah, here you go. <laughs> He's coming to get some more. They are really good. Now we do have canned Hormel chili for these hot dogs, but I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. I did this one time. We add a little bit of brown sugar in here. Mix that in. And I have some ground mustard, so I'm gonna put ground mustard, but if you don't have that, you can just use regular mustard. Put a little, like maybe a teaspoon in there. Since we have this ground mustard, we'll shake a little bit of that in. Just a few red pepper flakes. And about a tablespoon of ketchup. We're fixing to make some Brazilian lemonade. Yes, you're gonna be using some lime. We ain't even gonna use lemons here. I asked him why lines. they call it lemonade. Well, I don't, said. I have no idea, but you're gonna need one of these, something big enough to strain it. And uh, 
I'm going to show you how to make it and we're going to start it right now. All you got to do is take, you take your, what we're going to do is a little bit different. We're not just going to take the limes and blend them. We're going to actually zest these. So we're going to get some zest. Wow, that smells really fresh. That smells good. I'm cleaning up while he's zesting. I'm going to be uh, putting the hot dogs up. It's the white layer there that's bitter. You don't want no bitterness in there. You just want it to be good oh, man, smooth. Oh, don't that limes. smell good? Yes, I love limes. I don't know why they don't have more lime scented cleaners and stuff. You know, everything's lemon. Everybody's all about the lemon. What about the lime? You know? That smells really good. It does. Everybody. It smells better than a lemon to me. Well, we don't want to put lemons down, baby. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. I think all we're gonna use is two of them. The boys done went fishing on us, so they're not here. It takes a little bit of doing uh, to get this done. You want something good in life, it's gonna take a minute. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Now, let me take a knife. The white flirty one. Where's the flirty knife at? I guess I'm gonna get an angle here. Folks, I'm very sorry. You know what we probably need to do first, y'all, is we probably need to peel these bad boys, which ain't gonna be easy. It's gonna be kind of difficult, actually, to peel these. But we're Notice gonna go. How, after we finish, I said, "Hey, while I'm cleaning up, will you zest those lines?" Yeah, Fallon. Yeah, good woman. Just tricky, <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. We want to take just a little bit of time to. To peel back this this layer of bitterness, get that bitterness out of your life, folks. Not the prettiest, everybody, but that don't matter. Put this all in a blender with some one can of condensed milk, uh, some ice cubes, and some water. We don't have one of those fancy blenders. The main thing is, most of the time, it works. <laughs> don't you choke on an ice cube on me, girl? We have to <laughs> rush not. you to the ER. We got a can of this uh, sweetened condensed milk. Ooh, how much ice are we gonna need? We're gonna need a good bit of ice, baby. Mm. That's probably enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we got. So that's, we need to run to the gas station real quick. Uh, is that gonna be enough? I might run down to the gas station right quick and get some ice, everybody. I'll be right back. <laughs> So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and drop our two limes into the blender. And I think I'm going to go with about half of that zest. Pour in a whole can of condensed milk. Folks, that thing is on pause. Y'all, and just looking at it, I'm thinking almost a whole can. We got two good cups of water going in. Going in with a good bit of ice. And uh, we're going to probably smoothie this bad boy and hope that it works. We're going to strain this, just like this right here. Just give it time. All right, folks, if you've made it this far in the video, we want to say thank you. Let's go ahead and pour this on top of ice. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah. That's creamy, folks. Now put you a straw in that, buddy. There's you one, Sissy. All right, there's Jonah. Jonah. That's good. Is it? Yeah, it, you know what it tastes like? That is really okay. good. Okay, years ago, they sold push-ups not just in the orange flavor. They had lime That's good. and orange. It tastes like a lime push-up. That's great.